Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Exoforce review, and this one's on Fight for the Golden Tower from 2007. So we'll start out with the only two mini things you get in this. Oh, hang on. Okay, so for the two mini things that there are, uh, which get Hitomi, and this uh, which was the only way you could get her, and also what kind of made this set a little sought out. But aside from that, the uh, hair piece, which same as from one of the uh, Sentai Fortress guards in a couple other sets, and but of course, same as Haya as a Karu in black, of course. But all the face printing of which quite good for how it is and also the front torso printing really nice for that and also one of the first female mini figs to have little gaps on the sides of the printing but yeah and also not at all any like printing would have been nice if there was but you know it's an earlier fig it's what they kind of had and of course wielding two gold katanas that there were and also the secondary one is a Devastator Destroyer or Destroyer Robot that there is. And of course, quite common in most of these sets, especially in this silver color. But however, the uh, claw hands and arms pieces are still used to this day. And as for the back of both of them, quite hollow to that, kind of like the Super Bow Droids. And also, not only back torso printing for Hitomi and also for her double side face, which is kind of more angry kind of look to it. And and now for a little rant that I have for this mini fig selection is that you get two of these, and for this for the price point of this set, I think should have at least included one more for that. Like maybe could have included Hikaru or uh, Sensei Kaken or whatever. And also, in the storyline wise, Hitomi, which kind of rides off on the Blade Titan, which ideally I think should have been. So I think she should have been included in that set as well. But. So, I don't know, just not something to say. But at least could have worked. Should have been like that. But at least this which is still kind of workable. But yeah. Onto one of the builds of the set, the Sonic Raven, I think. Yeah. Or some, yeah, Sonic Raven. From first glance, looking almost like the Sonic Phantom for that, but a little bit diff built differently, of course. But however, for, but also a nice, good, consistent color scheme of like, like black, yellow, red, and like darkish gray and a little bit of light gray of course that for the first spot up uh, front part of it consistent of two little uh, support pieces as gun barrels of course and also do and also a couple of spring little launch there's, there's, there's like that on like we see on some of the other sets but however got two of that in this set very nice, very interesting, very nice for that. And as for the like center part here, which is consisting of a little tile kind of piece with a sticker on it and a couple other tiles with other controls on it. Oops. And of course, enough room to fit your Devastator robot minifig into a course. And then from behind, have one in on there, kind of jet slope uh, here with a sticker of a Devastator robot on it, of course. And of course, some alright snot 
technique going on there, but just one slow piece for that. Although, if this were made now, probably expect a couple more bits on there. And that's for this back section with one of those uh, racers uh, engine pieces on there. And also, do get a large jacket slope piece with some yellow stickering on it. And with the set number on there, of course. And also, interesting use pieces. Bionicle Toamata Tahu's sword piece here, but with a little, little bit of red bit or orange bit in, molded into the top part of it. Very interesting, but at least good way to improve your Tahu mini or Tahu figure, of course. But aside from that, at least very good use of that. And those couple of rock bits going through there, like it's an extra mist launcher, of course. But also, if you get this little technic gearing kind of section here, which holds these large uh, turbine pieces that we're seeing in a couple other sets of that, especially the Sonic Phantom is turn off. But unlike other sets, you can turn on that and make it, uh, make it spin, of course. Still make it look like it's flying, of course. Also from the back side, which had these like car rim kind of pieces, but with trans red cones on top of that, probably for some extra detailing or something. But also like the arrow booster set, to which where you can like like pull these little bits here and have them fire right off. And also there's two as well, so you can have plenty of fun shooting both off as well. So, so nice consistent build for this Sonic Razor, of course. That's about, that's about it for that. And now onto the Golden Tower itself, which for first glance very interesting. Although, as it's called the Golden Tower, but, and of course storyline-wise, this is probably like the closest that there is to the actual Golden City that the characters uh, which reach out to in the, throughout the storyline, of course. But although there's plenty of gold on this, but not very many, not not a lot of gold for that. Maybe that would be a little too much, but yeah. Although, for the uh, front bottom part of which, oh, also, this is uh, which has kind of a modulability kind of factor to it. So I'm kind of review it in old sections of this video. Which as you can see, as for this bottom section has plenty of like of these like construction support pieces that we see in city sets, but in white of course. And they're resting on both plates and also corner uh, tile plates there. And also you got uh, two by two by three bricks on there as stilts. And for this one side, you get these uh, high voltage kind of uh, stickers on it, but also with these uh, Japanese writing on it in this metallic gold. Kind of cool how that is. And then for this front gate section with two little katanas on there and also a metallic sticker metallic gold sticker piece is doing that it's again but as you turn this knob here and flips right forward and there's a couple of missiles but just don't fire off of course and also you get that little sticker piece on a dish piece it's, that says security vault on it and of course has the little security vault like crate piece that you take out and there which is little tile piece with a sticker on it that you can use for something on the website that is no longer active, of course. But as for on the side view, which, as, and of course same with the back side, not an only wall space to that, only maybe because that would have driven the price of the setup a little bit more, but at least it's still kind of workable since you can play enough room to stick your hands into and access certain things to it. And also, nice to see those 
large jagged slope pieces here. Or well and white, that is. And also get a couple of tan pieces there, of course. And as for this upper section, as you can see, it has some good synthetic rod bits to it. And also and also good use of some of these jagged slope pieces and corner jagged slopes in red. <coughs> and also And of course, good use of some of those curved slopes with a a gold uh, vent piece on there for extra reefing. That's for the top section with the white uh, jagged slopes, curved jagged slopes, and also uh, corner tiles for that. Which for the upper section to rest on. But although if this were done nowadays, I think it should at least include a stud on both of them. Yeah, or just like uh, tiles and stud in the center to hold it on to, of course. So like we see on newer uh, hot quartz sets, of course. And that's about it for that. And now on to this upper section, which as you can see, like the lower section, there's large hollow spaces on all sides, but at least got one wall bit with a little metallic gold sticker on a brown tile, of course. Uh, which, if you pull this little bit on it, can pop it right off, of course. And as you can see, it does have a couple of bar pieces, most likely used as uh, bow staffs, and a couple of clips, probably for Hitomi's uh, katanas, of course. And also metallic gold sticker piece on a sign kind of piece on there. And then like the lower section have these like large uh, tile or jagged slope pieces but in dark red and also <coughs> so some more uh, grill pieces in uh, gold. And also do get those fin kind of pieces, but in gold as well. It's very nice to see there. And also with some interesting sticker detailing on them. And for that, and that's for this uh, little top section, which kind of has lar large plating on there. But you reach on to that and take that top part, out, oh, which not connected on any studs, but. Although I think should have included a tile with it. just a couple of studs for it to rest on, but yeah. And what I would assume is probably for Hitomi to climb up to it and man the launcher, of course, which is which is connected on to a regular hand connector to a, a Bonka Hordika uh, headpiece on it. And of course, as you all know how these launchers work like is put the missile in. And then launch off like so. And now, how deep it's to kind of connect together is it just slides right on like that. Quite simple and quite effective. So now for my, for the overall verdict. Overall, I think this is which a, a quite really cool set for how it is. Well, at least like only much reference in set four we got to ever gotten of the Golden City, of course. And of course for the mini figs, so, which great to see Hitomi included in a set, of course. Although I wish it could have been included in another set, so cool. and also. Maybe you also could have included a golden Devastator robot, but whatever. Well, as is, can still kind of forgive it, but it at least got two cool builds that have nice consistent color schemes, of course, and also plenty of good uh, pieces to mock with, of course. 
So this, I mean, also quite good in many ways, few ways, but yeah. And I'm sure that in 2007 was a great set, but nowadays still kind of is, but yeah. And so now, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, BrickLink, Mercari, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.